What is this luck, man? Dragon Spear? That's my second one. That's pretty sweet, I guess. I'll go ahead and take it. I'll take it. Well, I missed it, but I did just hit 79 range, so I've got one more level before I am finally got all my combats in the 80 range mark there. I've got about 5,000 XP left until 83 Slayer, so let's keep that grind going, boys. Man, it's been forever in a month, but finally after this kill, I will be getting 83 Slayer. Very nice. I can now kill Spiritual Mages without having to boost. So that's pretty sweet. I'll be able to get more Dragon Boots later on. But two more levels before I hit that uh, Abyssal Demon task. And uh, yeah, so I'm just getting back to the Slayer grind. It's so nice to finally be able to get back on and not be lagging so much. So there is 83 Slayer. I've got a while before I hit any more levels. So we'll just keep this grind going. It's pretty sweet. Well, I don't know when it happened. It was obviously quite a while ago, but I did get 80... 89 uh, HP, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, like I said, it was quite a while ago. I guess I was just AFKing way too hard. But that's pretty nice. Okay, so I will be picking up my 200th task here from Duradil. Let's hope it's something good. Hellhounds will take it, and that'll give me my 200th task, task which will be, I believe, 175 points. All right, so it was actually 225 points. I was thinking it was only 175 points, but I'm going to go pick up my next task and just continue the Slayer grind. I've got 165k until I hit 84, so quite a while. I am keeping up with my herb runs and just grinding it out. I should be getting 82 uh, attack and defense on the uh, next assignment, which is going to be L's. Gross. Alright, just a random farming level here. 58 farming. I've gotten that completely from just farming herbs. So, as promised, I am still farming herbs, guys. Nice. Alrighty, and there is 76 crafting. It's been a while since I got a crafting level, but I've just got to make some dueling ring, uh, rings of Slayer. And then I'm going to make some dueling rings, and then I'm actually going to, before I get back to Slayer, because I've been slaying quite a bit today, I'm down to 135k to the next level. I've got 77 emeralds, and I've got a fair amount of dueling rings, but as you can see, I only have one slayer ring. That's why I'm making slayer rings right now, but what I'm going to do is actually go and start working on these battle staffs, but I've got to make so many cosmics, so I have enough to make 17 dueling rings, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, get oh, stupid misclicks. I'm going to get started working on making my cosmics, but there is a level. It's very nice. Four more to go until I can make the rest of my glories. Pretty sweet. Well, fellas, I've currently got a trolls task. 143 trolls, so I'm getting ready to go to Dame Damonheim. Wow, uh, Trollheim. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I've got almost 1,200 points. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy my herb sack. So that's, I'll go ahead and eat that. I've been wanting to get this for quite a while, and now I can finally get it. So... Ooh, look at those points just go down the drain. But that's going to totally help me out so much. So let's go ahead and get this trolls task done. Well, this is like a super late recording. I actually forgot to record that I got 82 attack and defense earlier, taking me to 107 combat. Uh, in the last clip, I believe, or maybe two clips ago, I was talking about I was going to go and start making my cosmic runes to be able to uh, make all my battle staffs but I actually need I only need to get like 2,000 more essence and then that'll get me to 59 rune crafting so I'm gonna wait on that for now and just wait until I can get uh, the 2,000 essence that I need before I start rune crafting so that's why I just went back to slayer so let's go ahead and keep this slayer grind going though I just want to point out the slayer creatures they look cool as shit but the blood veil Dude, tell me this doesn't look like a huge ass butt cheek. Like, just straight red ass booty, bro. But yeah, it, it, it looks pretty crazy.
Hey, just missed it, but uh, 93 strength, that's pretty sweet, man. It's been a while since I got a strength level. It doesn't give me a combat level. Um, so I've gotten one superior on this task so far, and I went back to the bank to go get sharks because he started hitting like 30s on me. I've never gotten a marble gargoyle before, so I wasn't sure how to kill him. And by the time I got back, he was already gone. Like, it, it literally took me like two seconds to go to the bank, but apparently uh, he just disappeared, so that kind of sucked. Uh, but I do, I did look up how to kill him for the future reference, so I'm hoping I can get another one because, man, I'd really like to get that heart. Okay, so I just got another one. I'm going to try to kill it. Hopefully, hopefully I can do it. You got to be fucking shit me. He dropped me a fucking uncut sapphire. That's trash. Alrighty, that's nice, boys. This is my first Gmaw, so that's pretty... Pretty sweet. Nice. You know, you never can go wrong with the gargoyle task. That was 231 gargoyles. Um, I did get about 1,700 uh, essence. I put some already back in the bank, but I kept all the coins. That was almost a million dollar task just in coins alone, so that was pretty sweet. You couldn't... Neck reels? Like You couldn't ask for, for a better task right after that, so that is pretty sweet. I'm going to go do that neck reel task now. Make some more money. Like, I was so worried because my, my cash stack was going down so much. But, look, I'm already back up to 2 mil. So, that's really sweet. I'm going to go ahead and get on that neck reel task and keep these gains just coming in. You know, I just looked up my Slayer XP for the day. And just today, I'm, I mean, I've been playing for probably well over 12 hours, which y'all always hear me talking about. I don't play very much uh, during the week. But today, I've just been super... And, uh, actually, I haven't been playing for about 12 hours because I left for about 4, so I've been playing for about 8 or 9 hours, and I've already gotten 173,000 Slayer XP. So, this grind is like for real legit this week on the Slayer, even just today on the Slayer, so that's pretty sweet. There is 68 prayer. Two more levels to go until the big prayer level that I'm looking for. So I am going to do my best to get that today. I'll keep y'all updated on the prayer levels. Oh, didn't actually realize that that actually got me 108 combat as well. So that's pretty sweet. Two more levels to go before I hit 110. That's pretty sweet. And there is 69 prayer. One more level. One more level to go. This will be the inventory. Let's go. I don't want to miss it. One. Boom. That is a huge, 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 huge goal of mine. There is 70 prayer completed. Still ended up having quite a bit of extra bones as well. Not too many, maybe like 30 extra wyvern bones. Uh, go ahead and check the bank and we can see. But that is it. 70, 70 prayer completed. You know what that means. I'm going to go and do King's Ransom. Do the Night Waves Training Ground. So I can unlock this sexy ass skill. Let me see how many bones I had left over. 28. So pretty nice. Yes. Hell yeah, boys. King's Ransom, complete one quest point, 5,000 magic, XP, 33,000 defense XP, a 5,000 XP lamp, and then the Night Waves training ground. So, can I use this in whatever I want? Hell yeah, gonna be throwing that into Herblore, giving me 5,000 XP. Very nice. No levels, but I'm gonna go gear up and get ready for the Night's training ground. And I believe this is the last brother, Sir Lancelot. That is it. I've gotten 20,000 experience and hit point strength attack and defense. I may also speak to Merlin to set my respawn point to Camelot, which is pretty sweet. Um, and let's see, I unlocked Piety. Hell fucking yes. That is what I'm talking about. Man, that was a big goal for me. Knocked up out of the way. Sweet. Alrighty, I believe this is the end of the quest. I've never finished it, so hopefully there's not a lot of dialogue because I don't want this clip to drag on. But this is the end of Fairy Tale Part 2. I got an XP lamp, 35 Herblore, 2500 
thieving XP, use of the fairy rings, well, duh, I've been using them, and a skill lamp, let's see, can I use the skill lamp in whatever I want, yes, thank you, 25 more herb, 2500 more herbler XP, man, that, that, that's some nice herbler XP coming in for sure, it's pretty sweet, and that does take me to 200 quest points, 50 one more quest points to go until I fi finally finish and get a quest cape. I ig now exactly have double the quest points that my old main has. So it's pretty it's pretty legit where this character's going, but let's get on to something else. So I'm glad I didn't throw these bones out. All right, yeah, bro. You can have them. 24 1000 XP and 16,000 GP getting me to 63 construction now only needing one level I need 24k and the eyes of glow free quest and I can finally make my tab so I think I'm gonna go maybe possibly work on the eyes of glow free and see if I can't get that quest done <coughs> excuse me uh, with this table here this will complete the grind 264 construction I'm now going to go do the eyes of glow, glow free quest and that way I can finally finish up uh, this little construction goal that I had going on just to be able to make this teak larder it's not teak larder mahogany eagle uh, little dilly lectern I think is what it's called yeah lectern uh, and that way I'm able to finally make house tabs that's going to be pretty sweet, so I'm going to go knock out the eyes of Glow Free, and I'll get back to y'all with that. Alrighty, boys, fixing to finish up this quest here. Eyes of Glow Free, 12,000 magic XP, 6,000 rune crafting XP, that's pretty sweet. That actually got me 255 rune crafting, that is pretty nice. Now I can go get my crystal saw. So nice. So nice. I told y'all one day I'd do it. Over a hundred tiers. It's pretty nice. Oh, that's 7,000 rune crafting XP. That is pretty sweet. There we go, 56 rune crafting. That now means that I actually need to get my hunter up if I want to continue getting my experience from my uh, Tears of Guthics is what it's called. So I'm at 18, almost 19,000 to my level, and then I'm at 15,000 on the hunter side. So I'm actually going to need to start working on hunter, which I need to anyways to get uh, one of the quest requirements for... Oh, I think it's Monkey Madness too. So because I've actually been thinking about it, and I'm not very far off of a quest cape. I'm at 202 total. Uh, I've got about 15 hours of total gameplay to get a quest cape if that's what I decide to do. So I'm not going to put anything on the back burner or anything like that. But it is something that I would actually like to work on and see myself achieve. So that's going to be pretty nice when I get to that point. Well, I'm getting pretty bad at this YouTube stuff. But I did just get 57 hunters. So now I can start hunting the dark cabets. And uh, I'm going to try to get towards 60. And that way I am able to be able to go and do... That will give me the last requirement needed for Monkey Madness 2. So because I am going to start working on getting my quest cape. So there is 57 hunter. Three more levels to go. Pretty nice. Alrighty boys, gonna be coming in with this level right here, the hunter level, 58, one more level, to, ooh, I can now catch nature amplings, that's pretty sweet, one more level to go until I can switch over to red uh, salamanders is what I'll be heading to next, I'm gonna try to get to 60 tonight um, for a monkey madness 2 requirement, but depending on how the grind's going, I may go ahead and try to get to 63, and that way I can start hunting red chins, we'll see how it goes, but I just want to keep y'all updated on that level. Man, I'm telling y'all, I'm getting real horrible at this uh, YouTube thing, but there is 59 Hunter. I'm going to now pick all my stuff up and go head over to Red Salamander so that I can hit that 60 mark. And here we go, getting 60 Hunter. I now have, I can now lay up to four traps at a time and catch Cricket Bats. I don't even know what those are. But I know that was the last thing that I needed for Monkey Madness 2, I believe. 
Yes. So I now have. Oh, I gotta do a quest watchtower. Boo. Uh, with Gnome Stronghold route unlocked, which I'm pretty sure I have that. So I need to do the watchtower quest. But other than that, I have all. Oh, no, I need 65 smithing. And then I'll have all the requirements to get all of the quests done. So I'm gonna go work on something else. And I'm not really sure what. I'll let y'all know though. And there is 70 thieving. No particular reason for getting this, just uh, that way I could hit that 70 marker there. So that's pretty nice though, and that takes me up to 17, 15 total, 35 more levels to go until 1750 worlds. Hell yeah. Alrighty, fellas, so according to my approval, it looks like I hadn't picked up my kingdom in about nine days. I'm gonna check and see how much money I've got left in here. No, I'm not ready to collect. Oh, I hope I'm not broke. Uh, I'm not too bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw this out. And put back in 2.5 mil. Oh, 800k that leaves me with. And then I'm going to go ahead and collect and see what kind of herbs I got. Boom. Uh, it's not too, too bad. Ooh, another 40 Renars. That's pretty sweet. Any good seeds? No. And 4,700 maple logs. So that's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all those and get on. Uh, I've been kind of working on cleaning all my herbs and getting all my prayer potions, or my uh, unfinished potions ready. And that way I can kind of see what kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? Herbal XP I can get. So let's go check. Uh, let's go clean these herbs and get ready to possibly do some herbal training. Alrighty, so I went ahead and gathered all second dairies for all my unfinished potions except for the Atlanta Dimes just because I don't feel like going and collecting 437 blue dragon scales at the moment. So I'll do that later on, but I'm going to go ahead and get start making on these potions. I am currently at 69 herb lore, so let's see if we can't get... I'm hoping to get close to 71, I believe is what I need for ranging potions. 72, but I'll be able to make them at 71. Um, and then hopefully with the Lanta Dimes, that'll actually get me to 72. So I'm going to get started on those, and I'll update y'all on those levels. There's 70 herb lore. Very nice. I'm now clean door fleets pretty sweet i'm still only working on my hair landers so based off of what i have in the bank right now i should easily get to 72 which means one and two things um number one i'm gonna have to go and collect the 500 i think it's 517 uh no uh 437 scales and then i'm gonna have like four almost 560, 570 uh, wines of Zamorak that I'm going to have to go collect and that way I'm able to make quite a bit of ranging potions as well but that's going to be pretty cool uh, after I hit 72 my next goal for Herbore will be 76 and that way I'm able to make stamina potions so I'm getting pretty close to those stamina potions feeling pretty good about that um, but I'm going to continue this Herbore grind and see if I can get to 72 Alrighty, there is 71 herb lore. I can now make super defense mixes, won't ever do that. But one more level to go until I can make my ranging potions. I am pissed. I just died in the wilderness and apparently I lost my graceful. I think I have enough marks to go buy another set, but that fucking sucks. Fuck, man. I'm gonna need to grind for my gloves, my boots, and my hood again, but I'm done collecting that shit. That fucking pissed me off. I don't know why, apparently, the wines protected over the graceful. I shouldn't have had my graceful in there, but I mean, it is what it is, so let's get back on this herbler grind. And there is 72 herblores, so finally I can now make ranging potions. The whole reason I died in the wilderness. Uh, at first, I was I was kind of bummed out about it. Um, like I said, I shouldn't have been that far in the wilderness with my graceful, anyways. I have to grind out, uh, like I said, the cake or the hood. <clears throat> Excuse me, the hood, the boots, and the gloves again. It's not really that big of a deal to me. Um, at first, I was like, man, this fucking sucks. But really, I mean, I don't really use my graceful anywhere. It just 
makes me lighter. Uh, the only place I really see it affecting me is like on farm runs and stuff like that. So it's not really that big of a deal. But um, I will eventually need to grind some more um, some more uh, agility anyway. So it's not that huge huge of a deal really to me. So, um, But I'm glad I can finally make ranging potions now. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. I'm not going to use all my lantidimes up on anti-fire potions just because I don't kill um, dragons too often. That will change now, of course, being that I have the anti-dragon fire potions, but I was really just excited to be able to make ranging potions, because that basically just means that now I can uh, possibly start ranging some tasks from time to time, just to be able to make some kind of ranging gains. As y'all know, for a while I've had the goal to get to 80 range, and that way I can finally get my fire cape, so that's something that possibly can be getting done in the future. Um, I'm at 1780. 1718 I wish I was at 1780 I might not have died uh, but I am at 1718 total as you all have noticed throughout this episode I haven't done too much uh, slayer and that's just because with all the other skills like I'm really just enjoying a bunch of other skills right now I'm not burnt out on slayer um, I will eventually get back to doing slayer I'm so close to uh, getting that 87 mark uh, but I've really just been enjoying a bunch of other skilling right now I'm not really sure what I'm going to do from this point. Uh, this was kind of a big, bigger kind of goal, I guess, for me. So, uh, not really sure what I'm going to do there. But we'll see uh, what I do decide to do. Um, but I'll let y'all know in the next clip. And, uh, yeah, we'll pretty much just go from there. I know, obviously, I'm going to have to be doing some agility training pretty soon uh, to get my graceful back. But other than that, that's really... That's really about it. Alrighty, so I've decided to finish up the episode. I have this hard clue here in the bank, and then I also have um, nine Skatizo kills. So that is potentially ten hard clues, possibly even a couple of elites, depending on how well uh, or what the drop is, really. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start rolling the clips on the clues. I'll let y'all know if there's a clue that I can't do. And, uh, yeah, let's get these hard clues done, and... We'll be ending the episode. Hopefully I can get some third age, so we'll see. Alrighty, that is me finishing up the Watchtower quest. I know I said in the last clip that I was going to be showing y'all the clues, but I needed to do the Watchtower quest to be able to get into access to one of the spots for the clues. So now I'm going to go... It was actually the first clue. Oh man, four quest points, that's nice. Uh, so now I'm going to go and do uh, finish up that clue and so I can show y'all that reward. Alright, here's the first casket. Let's hope doing that clue was worth it with the third age. Thank you. Oh, uh, that's pretty shit. At least they gave me the runes to out it. So let's get on. I gotta go skill kill Scotizo, and then I can get another clue. Alright, well I actually came over here just to find the teleportation spell, which I found pretty quickly. It took me about five minutes. Um, so now I can just teleport back and forth. I'm gonna add that teleport into the house, and that way I can get to Scotizo in the catacombs easier. And there's the first kill from Scotizo. I almost died. It's been a while since I've done him. This death animation is so long though, but let's see. I'm gonna Ooh, Onyx Bolt tips, nice. And it looks like just one shard, so but there's that hard clue. I'll go knock that out and I'll show y'all that loot. Alrighty, the next casket is in. Third age, thank you. Nardatelli's not bad. Hmm. 100k. Nice aux. Let's go get another Scatizo kill and another clue. And there's the next kill. Man, that took extremely way too long. Like, he kept popping his fucking little eyes up on me or whatever. But there we go. Ancient Shard 1 again. Three room plate legs. That's that's nice, I guess. Uh, and then the clue scroll. So let's go do that clue. Alright, here's another one. Third age, thank you. Ugh, wh another War Blessing. What do I got, like, three of those in the bank, I think? Let me see. I think I got, like, three of those already now. Four. That's my fourth War Blessing. That's so crap. Let's go get another Scatizo kill. I got seven more to go. And let's see what we can get. Well, I guess I hadn't been recording a few of my last clues. I don't know what was going on. But here's the next one there. Pretty shit. I haven't gotten anything lucky, though, by the way. But I do have... Six more Skatizos to kill, but I do have an Elite that I got on the last Skatizo kill, so I'm going to go and uh, work on that Elite, and that way y'all can see that as well. 
Well, shit, I finally got the requirement to craft the multiple cosmic runes with one essence, so I'm three levels away from getting 59 rune crafting. I'm going to attempt to boost it and see if I can do that, but we'll see. We'll see how well that goes. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Uh, I've got to get to 59 rune crafting somehow, either by boosting or by making. I actually have enough essence now to make uh, all the cosmics to get up to that level. Uh, I'm going to end this episode off at 17, 18 total. I know I didn't get my Slayer level ever uh, that I had been planning on, but I did get so many other gains in this. Uh, I do still have six Scotizo kills. Uh, essentially meaning six hard clues. I wanted to be able to get them all done and show y'all all of the loots at the end, but I don't want to kill anymore until I finish this elite clue. So the bank tab right now is at 72.3 mil. It's been going up and down just a lot because of all the herb lore grinding. Um, so, so much herb lore grinds have happened this episode. I did die and lose my graceful hood and my boots, so that's something that I'm going to have to work on too in the next episode. It's not super pressing for me just because... Uh, I really the only time I use it is during herb runs and stuff like that and running around so I will have to work on that uh, as far as goals are going um, they're moving along pretty nice I think I'm going to do quite a bit of questing in the next episode and just kind of start working towards getting that quest cape I am at 206 quest points so not too many quests left uh, and then I have a couple of quests that I need to do to move forward in the master quest I did finally unlock the uh, Karin teleport so that helps so much and then with doing the watchtower I unlocked a Yanil teleport so I've got those now in the house it's very nice now uh, I like to get some more construction levels just to be working on uh, getting my garden and everything set up to restore my run energy that would make things super nice but other than that I mean a lot of gains got done this episode I hope y'all enjoyed it if y'all did be sure to hit that like button for me if y'all didn't then obviously wow I'm sorry, um, I just noticed my screen is like completely jacked up, let me fix that real quick, uh, this is gonna look kinda weird for a minute guys, sorry about this, I am playing on two different screens right now, so that's why my screen has been a little funky lately throughout this episode, you notice they got smaller and bigger and smaller and bigger throughout the episode just because I am playing on both accounts at the moment, so, but like I said, if y'all did like this episode, be sure to hit that like button, uh, leave any comments, suggestions, or anything down in the comment section, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next one, this is Iron Noobs, saying peace.